Number three, we have this equation here, x plus one squared plus y squared is equal to one. And we wanna turn this, we wanna convert this from rectangular to polar form. So we're gonna use uh, these equations again, x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. And we're just gonna replace the x with r cosine theta, replace the y with r sine theta. So let's do that. So x is r cosine theta um, plus one squared. And then y, we'll replace that with r sine theta. All right, and um, so now we need to expand this out. So r cosine theta plus one squared is the same as r cosine theta plus one times r cosine theta plus one. So we can FOIL that. r cosine theta times r cosine theta is r squared cosine squared theta. And then r cosine theta plus one is r cosine theta. We're gonna do that twice so we get 2r cosine theta. And then one times one is one. So this is the expansion of, of this uh, of this uh, squared term here. Uh, over here we have r sine theta squared. That's just going to be r squared sine squared theta. And then the one stays uh, stays the same, equals one. All right, now um, we've got a one on both sides. So if we subtracted one from both sides, those ones will subtract to zero, and we can get rid of them. And now, we, what I want to do here is get the r squared terms by themselves on one side of the equation. So let's subtract 2r cosine theta uh, from both sides. And we're left with r squared cosine squared theta plus r squared sine squared theta is equal to negative 2r cosine theta. Now, um, notice that we've got a cosine squared plus a sine squared. So if we can get that by itself, we can use our Pythagorean identity and reduce that down to 1. So let's factor out an r squared. We get cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to negative 2 r cosine theta. And now cosine squared theta plus r, sine squared theta is just equal to 1. So we're left with r squared equals negative 2 r cosine theta. And now there's an r in both, on both sides of the equation here. If we divide by r, we're left with r equals negative 2 uh, cosine theta. And that's going to be our answer in polar form. All right, now we need to graph this. So let's leave that there and we'll go to our, to our graph. This is cosine, so it's going to be symmetrical on the y-axis. We know it's going to be a circle um, from the graphs that we did last week. Uh, it's, it's going to uh, be symmetrical on the y-axis because it's cosine. It's going to be to the left of, uh, it's, sorry, it's going to be symmetrical on the x-axis because it's cosine. It's going to be to the left of the y-axis um, because it's negative. And it's going to have a um, diameter of 2. So it's going to be a circle that just looks like that. Um, another way that we could have done this, from our original equation, x plus 1 squared plus y squared equals 1, we know that um, the general form for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared where hk is the center and r is the radius. 
So in this case, we're going to have a center of negative 1, 0, and a radius of 1. And so we go to negative 1, 0, and then draw that circle with a radius of 1.